I'm going to play Splatoon 3, but after every match, the game is going to get more cursed. By the end of this video, you won't even recognize it, so watch till the end to see what it looks like. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. But before we get too far deep, let's just do a normal game of Turf War. Man, I actually get to have fun while playing this game because I know that the rest of the video isn't going to be. You know, I can just run around, it's Turf War, I can just be as aggressive as I want. Where are you? I'm gonna chase you down, chase you down, get... Okay, okay, forget about that one. Oh boy, there you are, there you are, you're, you're in tactical. Got him. Gonna get you as well. Where's the last guy? Gonna get you as well. Is there another person here? Uh, yeah, I think there was. Man, this is gonna be a close one. It all comes down to these last few seconds. Okay, uh, I don't think we won that. No, we didn't. Okay. Okay, it was a pretty good job, okay? Pretty good job. Even though we lost to a big swig, I, it was pretty good. So for this next match, I'm gonna be using the ink brush. Now, I know that a few of you might be thinking, how is this cursed? I main ink brush. It seems pretty cool to me. Well... Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Now, if you guys don't know why run speed on an ink brush is bad, I'll show you. You see, I'm just here hanging out, you know, I'm running around. But then when I start rolling, the run speed doesn't count. This is like... I remember this in the Splatoon one day. People tried this and then they realized, man. And then they just wasted all their time making it. It sucked. Kind of like Sonic Forces. Like, what am I meant to do with this gear set? Am I just supposed to run in, kill a guy, keep rolling, kill another guy, keep rolling, try and kill it, get a wipe, keep going? Is that what I'm meant to do? This game just proves why I don't use brushes. Like, like my hands has started to like hurt after mashing the ER so much. I don't know how ink brush means do it. So I don't have a good transition from that last match to this one, so all I'm gonna say is that I'm using stick controls now. So any gameplay that you've seen throughout the entirety of this video, it's just gonna get 10 times worse from now on. Which isn't really a good thing. Man, I don't know how anyone just uses stick controls, okay? Uh, let me set the stage. I've been playing Splatoon ever since the first game on the first day ever since release date and I've always been using motion controls because frankly I didn't know how to turn them off so I kind of just got used to it and I'm glad I did so if you use stick controls uh, comment down below because I really want to know how much of my audience uses stick controls and uh, while you're down there uh, subscribe that'd be really cool thanks okay I got a new strategy I'm gonna wait for someone to come up here and then I'll attack nice Okay, maybe if I change up my spot, it will be a little bit better. Okay, their entire team's over here. Oh, I could have gotten them. It was all because I was using stick controls. That was the only reason. I swear, after this video, there is nothing that can convince me in the world to play stick controls again. Like, even if it comes up in another challenge video down the track, I, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm not going to play it ever again. There are a few settings that I bet that 99.9% .9 of you guys didn't even know existed. And the main one is inverted stick controls. You know, you turn right, you turn left, you know, you guys know how inverted stuff works. So for this next match, I'm just going to be using inverted controls and... We'll just see how it turns out. Man, the thing that sucks about this is that everything that I've done in this video so far, like, you can imagine someone playing that way, you know? People play inkbrush, people play with bad gear, people genuinely play with stick controls. But have you ever met someone that actually uses inverted controls? I don't think you have. The only people that I can see that might use inverted controls is if they've spent way too much time in other games where you're forced to use inverted controls like Mario 64 or something, I don't know. It's just such a foreign concept for me. But it really does go to show that there are many different ways that you can play Splatoon 3. Like if you're bored and you hate yourself, then doing some of these challenges might be a good way to freshen up the game for you. Oh, I got a kill there, I didn't think that would work. I just kind of threw it without thinking. Imagine if we still win this game. 
It looks pretty close, like pretty even. That's the magic of Turf War. Oh man, looking from it from this view, okay, there was no way we could have won that. Man, it's just gonna get so, so much worse from here. But hey, you know what else you can invert? The colors. This should be illegal. Oh my god, the game looks so different like this. Like, Splatoon is known for its fun colors and aesthetic, but when it's like this, it's like the, it's like the game's just entirely different. They should really use like this footage in like like anti-drug commercials because I reckon that if anyone saw this then that would completely get them off it. I think that my main role is that I'm just going to stay up here and I'm just going to keep dropping bombs until I get one kill. Okay, I, I don't know whether that was from the bomb but hopefully it was and now my, my job is done. Okay, there are so many people down there. What if I just jump down and see if I can kill them? I'm confident. I'm confident. Okay, go, go, go. I'm confident. Get one. No. Have I won a single game today? I, I don't know. I think I've lost every single one of them, and I don't think my losing streak is going to end. Oh my god, Judd, what do they do to you? What do they do to you, Judd? But hold on. It gets worse. So this next challenge is that I'm going to play the game with a one second delay and to prove it I'm going to put my controller up to the mic and I'm going to press the X button to open up the menu and you'll see for yourself. This is going to be painful. I don't even have a good analogy as to how this feels. You just kind of got to experience it. Okay, I think that the game see that I've been playing very bad the last few matches and now they're matching me with like level 4 and 5s. Because, did you see the, like the way that roller moved? That has to be little Timmy behind the controller. Like there, I was mashing ZR for me, but of course since of the delay nothing happened. And it just looks like I was an idiot. Dude, we just got spawn camped the entire time. I know what to do. Like, it's so weird to play like this. I, oh, I can't, I can't explain it. But now we're finally here. The last challenge to make this truly cursed. I have been dreading this the entire day. There's a reason why I put this at the end of the video to truly reward all the people that have got to this point. The setting that makes Splatoon 3 the most cursed game on the Nintendo Switch is...